<laughs> so I figure I'm, I'm going to give this a test. I've had this thing for a few years, never used it, but this is my jet boil. Uh, it is the Minimo. Um, holds one liter. It's a short one liter. Um, I'm going to try and make some ramen using the jet boil. Uh, it's got two cups of water in there already, which I'm actually kind of surprised. For some reason, I really thought this wasn't going to work. So, I'll get the stove side set up and then I'll come back. So, here's the stove side real fast. You got the, the lid that goes up there. And the uh, tripod here actually gets stored right there in that little thing. But I went ahead and already hooked it up to the gas. Uh, here's your burner. And then this is a device uh, called a pot holder, which is an adapter that you put on top of the burner so that you can use any pot or pan or whatever. I just don't have it right now. This is my little baggie that I keep the burner and stuff in. Um, so, and then you got the bottom that closes that off. So let's go ahead and over here, flip that. So this is stored like that. But you need to flip it out. That's your gas adjustment. So give me a second. Let me bolt this to it, and we'll continue. All right. So we got the stove burner piece screwed down to the uh, fuel. Uh, we're I'm missing it up oh, there, right here. This little tab is the igniter button. Let's see if I can get. I don't have the gas on yet. So there you go. Uh, so let's uh, put the top on here. I don't think I could do this one-handed, but I'm gonna try. So it goes on like that, and then you actually give it a slight twist, like so. You don't turn the base you just turn the turn this so this little dimple goes into a little cut right here and kind of locks it in so now it's all connected so again crank the gas on just a hair let's turn this so I can get to the igniter and let's see if it ignites gas up enough I don't even have uh, I don't even hear gas flowing what sucks is if this gas is empty there we go now we got gas oh, come on ignite there we go Check that shit out, that's pretty cool. So it claims, so this is a variable temperature one, so I can crank the gas up more, get really up there, or we can kind of bring her back down just to kind of do a light simmer, you know, a low grade. Let's turn it down as far as I can, Let's see how far we can go down. Wow, you can actually, you can go down pretty far, surprise. Right, but we want to boil, so we're going to go ahead and crank that sucker up, so I'm doing it on my own. Puts off a decent amount of heat off to the side here. Oh, look at that. It is already smoking or steaming. I don't think you can see it on the camera. Yeah, you can see it real faintly, a little steam right there. I washed this just now, too, so we'll see. They say two minutes. So you can see the clock back there. We'll pause it and come back whenever it's boiling. So check that out. Not even a full two minutes. I've got it cranked. And oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Hence why I'm doing this here. Let's turn down that temperature there a little bit. So it will get to boiling. 
rather quickly, actually. No wonder the name Jet Boil. All right, let's grab a towel here. Let's go ahead and soak up this water a little bit here. Fire's still going. All right. That is insane. Not even two minutes. I had it full blast, though. All right, so let's go ahead and throw in our ramen. Crank up the heat a little bit again. So I'm just testing this. I have no idea if this is going to cook ramen. But let's clean up a little bit of my mess here. I'm sure I lost a decent amount of water. I may go actually go ahead and add a little bit more water just because I spilled a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this back up to the mark that it was at. And it was about right there. It's got a little water getting under there that's passing through, but I think we'll be okay. So let me go ahead and crank this up a little bit more again. A little dry. Alright, so I got it back to boiling uh, with the ramen in there. So I think the time frame is going to be a little off because of the one my mess, but this thing's not even on full blast right now, and it is it is cooking, man. This thing is awesome. I wish I would have messed with this sooner. I'll let that sit a little bit longer. See it all broke up. So the downside for this, for me, is going to be like. Obviously, if you're backpacking and stuff, and you got ramen, we know you can you can make ramen in it, which is freaking awesome. Downside is I usually eat two or three of these packs in one sitting, but if you're backpacking and trying to conserve food, this to me is not enough for two people. But in five minutes or so, you know, negating my fuck up, five minutes or so, I could transfer this cooked ramen into the base give that to the other person and I can get another set of ramen going so I could probably knock out like four ramen in 20 minutes you know that way the other person can start eating and then I could just eat straight out of the bowl here I don't want to be using a metal fork, but it was the closest thing I had, so. Try not to scratch up the interior too much. And I know I'm stirring it a lot. I'm just trying to make sure that, because it's such a small area, I'm trying to make sure that it's all getting down in there and uh, softened and boiled properly. This thing, this is awesome. I've, God, I can't believe I've never used this thing before. I'm going to change out this little cozy on it, though. I can't stand plaid. So, it's been more than enough time. So, we're going to go ahead and just crank this heat all the way down to off. Till it's snug, tight. It is off now. And boil. Boy, rolling boil stopped done all right so let's kick out the little handles here that side's a little tighter than the other side so now you have a nice little cup but 
Go ahead and add our little beefy packet. Give it a second. And there we go. It's fully mixed, perfectly ready to go ramen and a little jet boil. <coughs> um, here, let me see if I can do this real fast without dropping the phone or something. And then so, since that's off now, just grab the base here, give it a slight clockwise turn. Nope, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. It's actually, oop, it's warm, I'm not going to lie. These things are hot, but it's actually not bad, but it's a cozy. So, the counterclockwise go, there you go. That is off. Stove's off. Let's get some of this more water cleaned up here. <coughs> so, yeah. That is legitimately probably one of the coolest things. So now I'm gonna eat my ramen.